Today we're doing a uh, front brake pad replacement on a 2000 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, crack your lug nuts. Once you get those cracked a little bit, you want to jack it up and uh, put, dumps, put it up on some jack stands. Take the wheels off, uh, then you'll have access to the brakes. The first thing you want to do once you got the wheels off is uh, there's two bolts on here that hold the caliper to the, to the brake to the uh, disc brake and there's uh, some rubber caps here that you want to that uh, kind of protect the the nuts in here so take those off there's two of them there's one down below here too and then you want to get an allen wrench that fits the this allen uh, bolt in here and then uh, loosen these up both of them there's two of them here okay so I got uh, I got these uh, these bolts loosened up so I'm going to back those out and they should just slide on out uh, so do that you got that and then okay you can see that I uh, I uns <laughs> I loosened these guys up uh, and you can see that they backed on out they backed out they should slide back and forth easily and uh, if they don't, that means that they're not well lubricated, which uh, before we're finished, we're going to lubricate those those bolts back up. So now, uh, one thing I didn't mention is on these Volkswagens, they have a, a wear sensor, this guy right here. And I'd already messed around with this a little bit before I started the video, but uh, anyways, uh, it, it comes on here. It, it mounts onto this little bracket here. I took that off there, and then... Um, you're gonna have to disconnect that um, this right here so we'll do that in just a little bit so but first we're gonna um, pull these calipers off off the disc brake so there we go and see I'm I'm actually to the point our the wear sensors were it had uh, triggered the the light on the dash and you can see that uh, basically what it is is just a circuit that runs through here and uh, once the brake pad wears so far it just breaks the wire and then it uh, it uh, it makes the light go on so okay so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna place this caliper up on here some people tie it up but you can normally just set it up top here that way you can work on it uh, I'll have to get this uh, this plug undone here and then these old uh, these old brake pads they just clip on clip out just push them out and they come on out and you can see that they it was time to they were in need of replacement they probably have another 5,000 miles or 10,000 but uh, it was getting annoying having that sensor come on and brake pads don't really cost that a whole, a whole lot so good time to replace them now so all right, so I went ahead and got this plug out of here. It took this plug out. Uh, was uh, a little more difficult than I, which you would think. But uh, anyways, there's a little clip in here, which was kind of hard to get to. That you gotta have to. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but right here there's a a little clip that you need to push in uh, to get it past this little notch here. So that's what your goal is. So. Our next step is uh, I'm going to push these calipers back so that we have room to put the new brake pads in. So um, what I'll do is um, I went to uh, AutoZone uh, and got a loaner tool for uh, pushing these calipers back. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, you just have to put a deposit on it. Uh, it's actually the wrong way. Okay, so I unscrew it to the point which should now fit in here. I'm going to snug it up. Fits in there, and what we're doing is we're pushing that piston back that as those brake pads wear, it, it slowly comes out further and further. So now we're putting new pads in. They're thicker than the old ones were, so these, cal these uh, pistons need to be pushed back so that they'll fit. So what I'm going to do now is now that this is snug here, I'm going to come up above and uh, 
Okay, so we're going to come up here and uh, take the top off of the, the uh, brake fluid reservoir. And the reason we do that is because as you're pushing those pistons back in, the brake fluid that's in the down in the calipers is going to be pushed back into this reservoir. It's important that there be uh, that the fluid not be topped off up here because uh, we're going to be pushing more fluid back in here. And uh, if if it is to the point where you don't think that uh, it's going to start overflowing, that you do think it's going to overflow, uh, I recommend getting some type of apparatus to uh, to somehow suction some of this brake fluid out of here so that it's not running down the side of your uh, your firewall and uh, brake fluid it uh, it will eat at paint so you gotta watch for that okay so I'm going to uh, slowly compress this uh, caliper uh, some people will use a C-clamp that works uh, I like this tool here because it's uh, the right tool for the job and uh, there's no messing around with it, it just nice and smooth uh, motion so so now uh, I pushed in a little bit I'm gonna go up to the reservoir and check on the reservoir and make sure that uh, it's not to the point that it's gonna be overflowing okay so I checked the reservoir and we're, we're clear up there we still got room so I'm gonna go ahead and push these in the remainder of the of the way till there's no more uh, till you feel some resistance I just want to be able to have enough room for those brake pads to easily fit in. So that's it. I mean, uh, it, you know, you can you can definitely feel when they're all the way pushed back, and that's when you want to stop. So now I'm just going to loosen this up and pull this guy out of here, and I'll clean up the calipers, uh, any mating surface that these new pads are going to have, uh, even out here. Check the the disc brakes or the uh, the. Yeah, the, the rotors here, uh, make sure that they're nice and smooth, which these ones are. If they have any weird uh, grooves in them or if they don't feel uh, even, anything like that, you either want to replace them or have them, uh, uh, have them machined, machined down smooth. So, uh, so, and they're not that expensive. It's, if, if, they are, if there are grooves, just go ahead and replace them. And, Okay, so I'm going to pull these pins out, uh, and I'm going to clean these all up. Uh, put some uh, brake fluid, or uh, what is it, brake lubricant on these. And uh, that's going to allow them to slide back and forth easily. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, uh, put this uh, brake lubricant on any mating surface. Um, So I'll do that on on both of the brake pads. Uh, you want to get the backs and also uh, even where it touches here. So. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got that all lubed up and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and just push those guys right back in. They'll snap in like so. Be careful with that wire. And then uh, the other one I've got all cleaned up as well. This guy here, he'll just uh, you can just push push down, and he snaps into place. Uh, you know, one thing that I didn't do was uh, you know they recommend that you get brake fluid and you know clean up your calipers and stuff like that. I I got a rag and you know any mating surface I cleaned up and uh, put some lube on there, but I didn't get. I didn't go ahead and clean all this other stuff. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but if you want to, and if you got brake fluid, it uh, doesn't take too long to do that. So, okay. So now I'm going to take this caliper that's got the brake pads in it and uh, gently uh, slide it down here into place. And uh, the brake pads they they meet up against this this right here, and then down below the same thing. So, and then the next thing I'll do is uh, I'm going to push these pins in. Uh, tighten those back up and uh, then I'll uh, go ahead and connect that electrical uh, that electrical one 
Okay, so I got those bolts back in. They're all tight. I put the, the rubber uh, caps back over top of the bolts to keep the weather out. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is go in the car and pump the brakes. Uh, that's going to push the pistons up against the, the brake pads and uh, get them all snug. Uh, after you got that done, go up to the reservoir. Check the reservoir fluid, the brake fluid. Uh, if it's low, that would be a good time to add some. If it's, if it's above the high mark, then you should take some out. If it's good, just put the cap back on. Uh, you're good to go. Uh, and, and then just come out, uh, put your wheels back on with the lug nuts, and uh, drop your car back down on the ground, and uh, go take it out for a test drive and see if you uh, notice anything strange about your brakes. You know, test your brakes out. And uh, other than that, that's uh, replacing your brake pads on a 2000 Volkswagen Jetta.